Welcome back to Neighborhood Journal, coming to you from the Long Island Fall Festival here at Heckscher Park in Huntington. Now, before we get back into this show, I want to let you know that our Halloween special begins airing on Friday, October 26th. It's going to be a great one. We're actually going to be shooting at the Bellport Gateway Playhouse. They have a great haunted house there. We did a story on it last year, and it actually won a Telly Award. It must have scared the judges into giving us that one. Check it out so you can see what's in store. If you think you're brave and not afraid, you better think twice. <laughs> because Gateway's haunted playhouse is not your ordinary haunted house. Well, a lot of haunted houses are nothing but haunted houses. But we pretty much build this from the ground up every year. We have five trailers full of props and scenery. So we have two and a half weeks to pretty much transform this theater into a full-fledged haunted house. There's tunnels. There's passageways. It's about a 35-minute walkthrough. And what sets them apart from other haunted houses is the caliber of professional performers. Because a lot of the haunted houses, they'll just get anybody off the street to put on a rubber mask and say boo. Trent, who's our makeup artist, he, he has a team of four other people, and him and his team make up 45 to 60 people every single night in full theatrical makeup. So we don't use rubber masks. This is uh, Dominic Mondi, the actor's name. Dom plays uh, a man who uh, half of his face has been disfigured, so it's a, it's a fun makeup, sort of a two-faced makeup. We start makeup at four o'clock every day. Uh, it takes us three hours to get everyone in makeup, and uh, they really look great when we're done with them. But it, it's, it's sort of challenging to make the, the prosthetics fit on different faces, because you know, normally for a film, um, for makeup like this, I would have four hours just to do this one makeup, but I have to do it a lot quicker. But it still has to look good, because people see him very close up, and it has to look very believable. It's just the fact that um, when people look at your face and they're like, oh my god, look at that, it just makes you feel really, um, really happy to know like, that you look awesome, and it's all thanks to him. When these gruesome creatures haunt you in this nightmarish maze, there's another macabre man behind it all. We've got all kinds of effects. We've got things that sort of leap at you or come at you. We've got several big blasts of air that we are able to deliver rather dramatically. And some of them are very simple effects that have to do with telling the story of what was going on on this property and why it's haunted. For Assemblyman Dean Murray, it was quite a hair-raising experience. Listen, I don't want to tell anybody it's really scary or anything, but before I went in there, I had a full head of hair. So I'm just saying, it's, you know, be ready, be prepared. But uh, no, it's a lot of fun. Keeps up the spirit of Halloween, but it also, it's an opportunity for the family to come together. And some of the older kids to come with their families, with their parents, you don't see that very often. This is the third year for the Haunted Playhouse. This is a type of an attraction people really want to see. How to really scare the, the pants off of people. I say that this is the best one I've ever been to, and I've been to most on Long Island. Lots of, lots it was fun! It, it was scary. My favorite part was in the girl got shot. That looks so realistic. <laughs> Who are they? You brought them in! I know you're lying! People are leaving very satisfied. 